What is going on lads, my name is The Midnight Kid and I'm going to be showing you how to install the Pez Universe option file in this handy tutorial. I'm going to go through it fairly quick, uh, but there will be you know, a thorough explanation of things, so you should be able to follow it. It's just going to be clear, concise, to the point, so if you follow what I do in the steps that I do them, you're going to have no issues. It's actually a lot easier to import this year, there's no crashes or stuff like that. So we're on the, the main dashboard at the moment. Now this is just if you have started up Pez, if you've played a couple of games, your system settings will have saved. So what we're going to do, the minute we log in uh, to our PS4 account, we are going to go all the way down to, where is it, application save data settings. We're going to go to saved data in system settings and we're going to go to delete. Now you only need to do this if you have turned on Pez and played a couple of games or if you have entered into edit mode. And I'm going to show you why in a second, but it doesn't really matter why, to be honest. It's just this is the way that it has to be done. The option file has to be in installed on a clean slate so that it stacks on top of each other. That's basically the way the, f the file structure works. So as you can see here, I have actually got data. So for the, for the you know, just to show you guys um, what you have to do. So if you have data here for PES 2018, you can see all the different games I have. If you've got PES 18 data here, Pro Evolution Soccer 2018, if you have saved data and edit data, we're literally going to delete them. So we need to have nothing for PES 2018 there. This is only when you're installing the option file. Obviously when you install the option file you need to keep it there. I know that that's fairly self-explanatory but some people will probably you know, ask that question. So we're going to boot up PES 2018. I'm going to do this video in real time. Everything is going to be done as I'm doing it and I'm going to explain to you in the best steps as possible. You're going to see exactly what you do from the minute you you know, put the game in to when you put the USB in to the main screen, the edit screen and everything. So you should be able to follow it fairly handily. Carrasco, one of our kick guys and main guys on the site, absolute beast that he is, he's actually done one in Spanish. Um, so, you know, if you if you actually speak Spanish or whatever and you can follow that, he has done one as well. And the other lads are going to be doing one as well. But this is basically going to be pretty much an A to Z how to get the option file in. So we're at the main screen here. And as I said, I'm going to go very dumbed down for a lot of people. And I know a lot of people will be like, hurry on, hurry on. But I don't want to go too fast because there is some newcomers to the game as well. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to skip all this. Basically, just press OK to everything. You can do those settings if you want. For the pro you know, for the purpose of this video, I don't need to do them. Now, there's our system data that we just deleted. So that's actually right in the system data there, which basically just says, like, yeah, we're after turning on the game. This is the system data that saves. And that's where it goes into the application save data. So as you can see here, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. It won't take too long and uh, we're going to go straight into it and as I said apologies if I'm going very slow and you're watching loading screens and stuff but last year I did a tutorial I thought I did it fairly good and people were saying you were going way too fast talking way too fast skipping parts fast forwarding parts the only part I'm actually going to fast forward is basically the the bit where we're importing the actual settings where I'm importing all the leagues so that's not going to be a problem. All right, so we're at the main home screen. You can see we're logged in in the top right-hand corner to the server. Everything is good. Now, the first thing we're going to see is this little red notification bell above the Apply Live Update. So we're going to click on that, and that's going to bring us to update the game with the new rosters. There's new boots, balls. Uh, there's new stats changes, and a couple of different things coming as well. And Konami do these every couple of months. Um, and this is why we needed to wait for the option file basically because it throws off some of the managers so say for the likes of Crystal Palace who have sacked their coach with Frank De Boer they obviously are going to have a different manager in that's going to be English nationality so we need to put in his image or whatever so we're going to click OK on this that is going to up upload or download and update the game and update all the transfers so Neymar as of right now is still at Barcelona Lukaku is still at Man RL Everton Rooney's at Man United this is going to actually make it that they're at their proper team. So you've got Mbappe and Neymar at PSG, you've got Rooney at Everton, you've got R Lukaku at United, and so on and so forth. So that is the live day update done in progress, as you can see there on the screen. You can just see confirmation of that. So we have the live update, the players in form. It's implementing the download of contents there now. That'll only take a couple of seconds as well. So it's going to ask you to, do you want to overwrite the edit data? Yeah, choose yeah, and then it's going to say live update installed or imported or save and complete or whatever that it says live update has been applied okay go back and you'll be at the screen that you first went into again it will save the edit data as you go there that's going to be fine 
system data will save again. Now, this, I'm going through this very slow and showing you a lot of loading screens and stuff, but I don't want anyone getting left behind. I know some people will be able to fly through it, but if you're one of those people, you probably won't need this installation guide, to be honest. So, yeah, this is for people that are newcomers, that are people that are not the best on computers and stuff, that want to know how to do it the best, most foolproof way, I suppose. So we're going to be back on this screen. You'll see that the red bell notification is gone. That means we've installed it. We're going to go straight into edit mode and our edited data from the live update will load the image list will load of course there's nothing there now just to show you this is basically the file as it is you know or not the file the the game as it is pre without the file in or whatever now you can see that you've got Lukaku there um, you've got Ibrahimovic back Rooney is gone you can see that with PSG you have got a PSG here and they will have Neymar and Mbappe or whoever. So the update has worked. Everything is fine. The transfers, the rosters, everything is imperfect. Now we're going to get the actual uh, edit, the option file installed, which is what this video is basically about. So we're going to go straight into, before we do anything, this is the first key step that we're going to do. We're going to go to competition structure. And we are going to, this is just something I always do. And we are going to go to draw size. And we're going to go to PEU League and we're going to change that to 18. Just in case I forget that again. Now, as you can see here, all the leagues are there, everything. But they're all obviously the unlicensed leagues. So, yeah, we've gone through all of that. Now we're going to go into data management. We are going to go to import export. We're going to accept all those terms. We are going to go to straight away a new feature of PES 2018's edit mode this year, which is invaluable to us option file creators. We're going to go to import competition. We're going to go to OK. Now this is the USB that you already have in use. This is the one. And there you go. Now we're going to see all our competitions here. So this is basically a new file system. It's called uh, .ced and this is basically all the competition data for the stuff. Now the best way to show you is to basically put it in and, and uh, explain what it does. So last year you had to manually import all the competitions. So you have to manually import the emblem, rename them and stuff like that. This year they've actually gone a step further and made it so easy to just to get the names in. And get the competitions in or whatever. So that's going to run through there. Uh, I'm going to let that go through that. And I will talk to you again in a second when that is finished updating. Go grab a cup of tea. You're probably going to need a couple of biscuits with it as well for the next part. Because it will take about 10 minutes maybe to install everything. Uh, but I'm obviously not going to be making this video another 10 minutes long. I'll just pretty much be fast forward in this and you'll be able to see it in, in quick time but again I'm not doing anything I'm literally leaving the controller down and letting that import so you don't have anything to worry about when it imports if you do get a crash it won't crash you to the you know last year there was crashes to the to the blue you know it was like this blue screen just came up and said could not find file or just crash or whatever the only thing you might get is fail to import literally just go back out and repeat the step I did before this just click them all again and import them and it'll go through we've literally tested and have had no problems any of the editors really have had no problems so it's not it's it's just a way better system than last year it's way more fluid slicker quicker and everything just drags in and that is why the new file system is there another part of the file system that's there um, the reason why it is is because it's now compatible with PC so everything that you're seeing here this option file everything that you're seeing is basically going to be you know completely um, compatible with PC so, so so I'm just coming to the end of that I actually won't skip because I've talked the whole way through this I will um, I will take a break from the last one but as you can see it's just going through all the files and there we go finished importing data it's going to update the image list now before you do anything else I want you to go out save that press yes to overwrite the data there you go that'll save now we're going to have a look to see what that actually changes just real quick so I already showed you the competition structure here now we're going to have a look Premier League Sky Bay Championship League 1 Serie A, Serie B, Eredivisie, La Liga Santander, La Liga 1-2-3, Liga Nos, Bundesliga. And there we go. So that is everything that we have in the option file. Now, obviously, all that's missing is the teams. So let's get on that. So again, we're going to go back into data management. You won't need to go back and check that. It will go in no problem. I'm just showing you for the purposes of this video to show exactly what it's doing. And we're going to go to import team. We're going to press OK. I'm going to press OK on that. And we're going to press square on that. And there you can see all we have Spain, Division 1, Spain, Division 2, English, Division 1, English, Division 2, 
we've got Italian the first division with Juventus obviously and all the other teams fixed and we've got the Bundesliga for gold early access beta so you need to get back to us if there's anything wrong with the beta you know what I mean you need to get let us know for the next file when we release the Bundesliga proper but yeah you will be getting it early access if you are a gold member just as our way of saying thanks for the support so we're going to go into detail settings we're going to click this apply player in squad data we haven't touched any of the player in squad data apart from the Bundesliga so you need to click this second box bash that in and it's going to work its way through now I'm going to be back in about well literally about 30 seconds but this will probably take about 15 minutes um maybe not that maybe maybe not that much but it would definitely will um it definitely will take that long so yeah that is pretty much it i will talk to you in a sec and i'll be back in a sec all right lads, so we have finished updating and installing so we're going to go back out here straight away we're going to go to save we're going to go to overwrite this data and we are going to see the option file and what it actually does in its full glory so we're going to go in straight away here it'll save the system data and we're going to see what it's actually given us. So here we go. Premier League. Skybet. In the League 1, League 2 are obviously the Serie A. Serie B, obviously, we need to update that again. That is going to be coming in V2. The Eredivisie. La Liga Santander. La Liga 1-2-3, which is exclusive to Pez Universe from Carrasco and Fadrian. And obviously, Liga Nos will come in the next version. But the Bundesliga. There we go. Now, you'll notice here. And you'll notice here, and you'll notice here, that we've got three fake teams. Now again, a lot of people made this mistake last year as well of not following this instruction. This is all you need to do manually, basically. It's very simple. It takes literally, I mean, count me there. Competition structure, Europe. We're going to go over to other European teams, and we're going to literally click Borussia Dortmund. Put it into the first slot there, the fake team. We're going to click this fake team here, replace it with Schalke, and we're going to click our... Uh, Leipzig or Leis, Leip, I can't even say it, Leipzig and we're going to put them in there and there is our full 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 um, pretty much our full file so again now a lot of people as well they might want to actually change this to alphabetical uh, so if you want to do that go ahead and do it so you've got Arsenal you've got Bournemouth and Arsenal you've got Brighton and all those teams um, you can be, pretty much take a screen grab of this if you want um, if you want to follow it or whatever but again that's just if you want to alphabeticalize the actual league system a lot of people won't even bother doing it to be honest you know so if you want to do it and it's something that you want to do that's fine I'm going to just speed this up again a second and then you'll have a screenshot at the end showing you the exact format for all of these Alright, so there you have the finished Premier League alphabeticalized. You don't have to do this, it's just an optional thing if you want to. So there you go. I'm going to do the Skybet next. Alright, so there is the Skybet Championship fully done. If you want to take a screenshot of that alphabeticalized, again, it's an optional thing to do. We're going to go on to do the next league as well, which is the Serie A. That should be pretty solid. The Serie B, obviously, will be in V2. The last one is Liga Santander. So we're going to do that and Liga 1-2-3. One, two, three, and then we're going to go in to see the actual finished product. So again, this is an optional thing. You can skip all this if you want to, but I'm just showing you the correct alphabetical order of the leagues. So if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, it's not a problem at all. All right, lads, so there is the La Liga done as well. All right, lads, so that is the La Liga done as well, alphabeticalized, and uh, we're going to go on and do Liga 1, 2, 3. I'll be back in a second. Alright lads, so as you can see, the option file is working with the live update, Manchester United versus Real Madrid. We're going to go ahead in here. And there we go. Lukaku is there. Asensio is there. Vasquez is there. The kits are there. Looking absolutely glorious. So yeah, that is pretty much it lads. It has worked. Hope you enjoyed the file. Make sure and subscribe to the channel and to Pez Universe and all the subsidiary channels. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was informative. Peace.